recording this just in case I make any errors. This newfangled uh, equipment, I don't know. Oh, there we go. And let's make, see if we can, oh, there we go. Good, okay. So I got a list of questions here for you for the interview. Yes, okay. Okay, uh, let me see here. All right, so Herman, <laughs> Herman Woodley from Switzerland. Uh, thank you for doing the interview, first of all. Uh, it's, it's great. I think it's going to be good for everybody in the Q Show world because they want to hear different opinions, not just the same old voices time and time again. Uh, so let's start with the first uh, question or introduction, if you would. Could you just give your name, your general location, martial arts, profession, and so on? Yes, my name is Herman Woodley, and I live in Switzerland. My profession is a pastry cook, and I own uh, my own shop, bakery, and a coffee shop. And it's, it's delicious, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so um, how long have you been doing martial arts, Herman? Yes, I'm in martial arts since uh, 1972. I started with judo, made some jiu-jitsu, and with some breaks. And then in 1983, I started with karate. And I'm in karate since then. Right. Never, never breaked. Okay, what style of uh, karate? I started with uh, Shotokan, and I'm still in Shotokan, but you know there are many splits in Shotokan. So I had some different styles in Shotokan. Now I ended up with uh, Asai Sensei in his group, because mm. I never owned a dojo. I'm still a student. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, how has it improved your art, the Q Show? This is a difficult question <laughs> because it changed everything for me because there was always something missing. Shotokan, it's mostly sport oriented. So all the training goes for competition. And this is okay until your age is starting to work against you. <laughs> Understand so that. You can't be better than yesterday. You just can't be the same good as yesterday. And maybe now in the age, it goes better and better. So, Q show for me gave an answer for a lot of questions I had. Because mm. I think in sport, you are going to win. You want to win your uh, competition. And since I make Q show, my mind has changed to not losing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, how do you like the training so far? Do you uh, appreciate the, the way you're training? Um, do you have any ideas on how to improve the training? Yes, the training for me. In Jotokan, it's always the same. It's like military. We have a curriculum, and you go strict through the curriculum and train your katas. Now I have my group in Skyusho, and there are more people from other styles. So there is a lot of input, other ideas, other views for my things I do. For me now, karate is the same interesting as it was 20 years ago. Oh, that's great. That's great. So when you're training with these other people, do you see the similarities of what they do um, feeding back into your Shotokan as well? Yes, for me it changed in this way. For me there is no style anymore because everybody tries the same. You don't want to lose. So we have the same principles all but uh, there are different bottles, I will say, different sorts of beer. Right. The beer tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> All good. 
Oh, good. So uh, what do you think uh, for Kyusho? Uh, what would make Kyusho better uh, for you in the future or better for your students, do you think? a difficult question to answer because my English is not so good. Doing fine so far. <laughs> For me it would be best if Kyusho goes back to the style as it was before the World War II because in every style Kyusho it was inside the style and after the war they forget it for some reason and in the sport it's not necessary right uh, or dangerous but for me the q show is the answer for elderly people if you have done your uh, sport career you have to have something new to start with and q show could be this supplement i would say right right and do you find that it's giving you different um uh, physical attributes skills over and above what you were training with your karate? Yes, as I said, uh, in karate we have a curriculum and you work always through. And in Kyusho, we have so many styles, they bring some other training ideas inside. And you start to see a lot of things in kata from another view than just only Shotokan. So you see more principles than, I would say, techniques. Right, right. Well, I, I want to thank you also for writing a couple articles for Budo International uh, because it's very important for other Shotokan stylists to see that the Kyusho is within their art and that it is possible to do some different things that they might not have conceived of before because of the, the extra training you do with Jiu Jitsu stylists, Wing Chun stylists, whatever. All right, so again, I thank you for that. It was a great exposition. Some articles are in my mind that people should know or think about because, as I said, I'm not a professor of something, it's just my point of view. Yeah, well, that, that's important, and that's why we're doing these interviews now, is because um, instead of just reading a, a text and taking it verbatim, just getting different people's ideas and viewpoints on, on Q Show and what it's doing for them, what they've uh, been able to accomplish with it, it's uh, quite amazing, I think, and I think this will be a good opportunity. And I kind of figured you'd be the first one to jump on this, uh, so again, I thank you for doing that as well. It's fun also for me because uh, if you age like me, your fitness is going down. I still train regularly two days a week, but few shows sometimes it's very nice. Quickly, one second. Right, right. Easier. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. That's the point. Yes. All right. Are there any other closing thoughts you can uh, share with us? aspect of the martial arts will go back to every style. It gives a lot of insight and now in Shotokan we have a lot of Bunkai discussion and they all, it's always technique oriented but techniques are not the answer. Right. We have to do some point and if we do Training, we have Chodan, Chudan, Gedan, but if you have some targets, it makes it difficult. You have to think about the targets, how to get them, how you get deep insight, what the effects are, and how you can help your partner to train with you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's a concern, huh? <laughs> well. Again, Herman, thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, we're going to put it together, and please pardon the, um, the filming because I, this is the first time I've been using Skype, and I really didn't know how to handle that or the recording of it. So um, it's going to look a little jumpy maybe, but uh, again, thank you so much for your insights and your input uh, for QSHO Inter International and QSHO for everybody around the world. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure for me because 
I learned a lot of people to know all over the world from different styles with a lot of inputs and it's fun for me to be a part of Kyushu International. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, you know, it's interesting that you just said that too because we've met so many different people from around the world. And, you know, they have the, the term now mixed martial arts and everybody's jumping on the mixed martial art bandwagon. But mixed martial arts is just mixing martial art training. And whereas we do that with all these different styles, it's been a great opportunity not only to learn the styles that you, um, the ideas from the styles that you mentioned earlier, but also the different people from around the world. That's really a great aspect. Yes, because we have a lot of karate people inside from different karate styles with uh, a lot of very good connections to Japan or uh, Okinawa. And so if you have some question, you can go to the forum ask the questions, the people will answer you, or you can contact directly them, because most of them I know personally, it's very sure. nice for me. Yeah, that's great. And by the way, I like your background, it looks very um, martial arty. It's my, uh, <laughs> my own room. So, uh, yes. <laughs> everybody's got to have one of those. Yes. All right, Herman. Thank you so much for taking the time, and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. Helped us all over the world very much. Nah, thank you so much. All right, be well, Herman. Good health. Yes, the same to you. Bye bye. Thank you.